This is an ad for place to fill. Looks like the water is leaking out of these holes, but no water is making it into the garden. We're superheroes that solve problems and we can't figure out how to solve this problem. I got an idea. Let's do our Plugo game. That's gonna be so much fun and it's gonna help our brains get strong so we can solve this problem. How many numbers? These are like math word problems. What, so you mean I'm learning? Plugo! Hey everyone, I'm Steam Girl. I'm a superhero and I've got my sidekick here with me today. Hey Stem Boy, could you tell everyone what kind of superheroes we are? We're problem solving superheroes. Regular superheroes use their muscles and their strength like this. We use our brain power. What is this? It's a problem that needs to be solved. But you're right, this is a problem. We've been told that we need to use all of these pieces to create a sprinkler system for our garden. Let's stop this problem. Okay, I've got the water going, but we need to find a way to get it into the garden. We should put the water hose in here. Okay, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Looks like the water is leaking out of these holes and then coming out right there. But no water is making it into the garden. We better try something else. I got another idea. Put it in this pipe. Are you gonna stand there all day and water it? No. Nope, that one's not gonna work. I got one more idea. Let's try this pipe with the holes in it. That's kind of just like the other one. But look, it goes far. You're right, if you lift it up, it goes farther. But still, you would have to stand there for a long time to water the whole garden. This is a problem. We're superheroes that solve problems and we can't figure out how to solve this problem. My brain feels kind of weak. You're right, after trying to solve that problem and not being able to, I don't feel very confident anymore. Let's do our Plugo game. That is such a brilliant idea. The Play Shifu Plugo Count Link app. That's gonna be so much fun and it's gonna help our brains get strong so we can solve this problem. Here they are. Oh, they were under the table the whole time? Yes. <laughs> Look at this Plugo Stim Whiz Pack. It says for ages four plus. How old are you? Five. You're right, you're five now. But even when you were four, you were still old enough to play this. It's for ages four to 10, really. You wanna play it? Yes. We should probably go to our headquarters to play with this, don't you think? Yes. One, two, three, come yes. with me. <gasps> okay, we are in the headquarters. That means we can take off our masks. Ooh, that was itchy. It's tough being a superhero and having to wear an itchy mask. Okay, STEM boy, which one do you wanna do first? I picked this one. It looks like it's just one tall tower, but really there's three. There's the game pad, Plugo Count, and Plugo Link. Plugo Link. Building blocks kit. This is the one we're gonna do first. It's pretty cool colors you got going on there. This is the magnet place. <gasps> You're right, that's the place where the magnets go. What goes right here? The iPad. You have to make sure that it's all the way up against this corner. And start. Plugo! So right now, Plugo has three different types of games you can play. Count, Link, and Piano. I like this song. It's a pretty catchy song. Let's open this Plugo Link Building Blocks kit. It has five games and 250 levels. Are they just shaped like this? Oh, they break apart. Oh cool, they have magnets that connect them. So Plugo Link makes engineering fun with puzzle stories and characters, so this will be real interesting. Which one do you want to do? This one looks silly. It's Loco Jojo. Hey, Jojo. Oh, so pretty. Whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> Loco Jojo. This one first, cause it's- The jungle? Yeah. Okay, here he goes. Can you build a pillar to tip my wooden board towards the treasure box? Yes, that's right. Place another one on top of your first link to make a pillar. That's a shimmering flamingo feather. Place your first link at the spot that's blinking. That's right. Place another one on top of your first link to make a pillar. That's a huababa mask. monster is out to trap me. Don't place the link close to him, please. Oh, he fell off. That's a ancient oak slingshot.
Daddy Bob, that's a funny name. This system is super fun because you aren't just touching the screen. You're building things with your own two hands. <laughs> Can you reach it yet? How about put one right here? Oh, it's gonna make it fall if you do that. Ouch! Who am I? X Lex found a magic screen. Oh. <laughs> look at all of these. You can start out with one, and then look, you can go so far. There's so many of them you can do. Wow, that's great. Okay, let's go all the way back. Let's start at level one. Look at the structure on the screen carefully. I said carefully. Use links to build this shape and make it come to life. these little pieces right here that have magnets inside of them to create a shape that turns into something. This is cool. We strengthened our brain muscles using the link game system, and now we're going to use the count game system to make us even stronger. Show me how strong you want to be. I want to be great. That's done. Open it up. Numbers. Ooh, lots of numbers. More. More, so many numbers. And look, there's addition, multiplication, and subtraction ones. It's like a ray of sunshine. Okay, where should we put this? Here? Or here? Probably there. Now let's play Astro Strike. Hello, officer. People call me A. A is for awesome. I'm going to be your awesome crew leader. You're here to help us navigate in space and help us reach MAC. <laughs> your journey will officially start from planet Mercury, officer. How many ice rocks do you see? Ice rocks, do you see? <laughs> These are like math word problems. What, so you mean I'm learning? Yeah, that's what we're doing by doing this. We're counting and solving problems. It's not just a game. On an iPad, it's actually helping you solve real world problems. We're gonna solve one in a little bit, but we have to play a few more games to build our brain strength. How many ice rocks do you see? Ice rocks, do you see? Three. Well done. You've saved the day. How many fireballs do you see? Six. Yeah. That's a little too easy, Bobby. You're right. It is a little too easy. You know what the great thing about this is? We can adjust it. We can customize your learning by making things a little bit more challenging. So right now it's set for you to count from one to nine, but we can adjust it by pressing edit curriculum and changing the numbers. So now it's gonna be a little bit harder, okay? There are two more games that we're gonna play. The first is called Tales of Numero. In the forests of Ulo lived a fox named Numero. She was looking for the brew of Ulo. Nobody knew how to make the brew except Numero. 
be careful of the moon sisters. They live deep in the wood. How many do you see? How many do you see? We are moving closer to an ingredient. The map says it is the ginseng root. How many do you see? The ginseng root is kept near the tree. The ginseng root will give the brew the power of youth. You will never be old. How many do you see? How many do you see? One, two, three, and four. Good. Now it's asking harder questions. As we go further and further, it progressively gets harder and harder and more fun. We have one more game to play. It's called The Life of Theo, and then we can go solve our problem. Here's my brilliance report. Help me improve it before I take it to Mama Llama. Chess play. How many chess pieces are on the table? Well done. How does it know how many pieces? The camera on the iPad can see what you're putting down right here. How many chess pieces are on the table? Awesome! Okay. A basketball match is coming up and I need to practice. Let's shoot some hoops. During practice, I scored three points. Four points. Five points. How many points are missing? Fantastic! We played all of the games. I think my brain's ready to solve the problem. Let's go! I got a great idea, Mommy. We could piece them all together. Okay, yeah. Let's piece all of them together and make a shape, and then maybe the water pressure will go and push the water up and out. Okay, great job so far, Brooks. I'll help you with this last little bit. You ready? You did it yourself. Wow, good job, man. What about these? What do we do with these? Uh, we put them in this way. All right, let's connect the water hose. This is gonna be very good. Whoa. Now the water's not going up here. That means the water pressure is too low, so I think we're gonna have to do some cutting to fix this problem. So I made it to where the water pressure would go straight up by cutting these three. And now I have one more to cut, and then this is totally gonna work. Finishing touch. Okay, ready? Lift this up and set it down. Ta-da! Good job, buddy. Let's make a splash pad. A what? A splash pad when we turn it over and it'll be a splash pad. So not only could this water the garden, it could also water STEM Boy. All right, we're gonna go turn the water on now, see if our sprinkler system that we made using brain power is gonna work. This is amazing. The sprinkler system that we built using our brain power is working. Thank you, Play Shifu, Plugo, Lincoln Count for helping us improve our brain power. My mind, I wanna go play some more. All right, go. Hey parents, if you're interested in figuring out how to help your child develop their STEAM and STEM brain capabilities, Play Shifu has so many awesome STEM and STEAM brain building products. Go ahead and look in the bottom description and you'll see a link. How many thumbs up do you give Play Shifu Plugo Count? Yeah? And how many do you give the link system? One, two, three? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay, can you say bye? Bye. Bye everyone.